James Gordon and the Siding. One day, James was happily traveling along the tracks. He was excited, as he was going to build his favorite red coach that their papa had ordered him to, to use ever since Thomas saved him from a crash. Ever, ever since Thomas saved him from that crash, that faithful day. James was going to take the normal way to the nap bird. And then he thought, huh, I wonder what will happen if I take this shortcut. Thomas earlier had told had warned James about those kinds of sightings that are quote unquote shortcuts, but they really aren't. Soon he saw a hill. He thought that it'd be a different, a different actual shortcut, but he was far, and I mean far, from Napford. He went towards, he went up it. And then he saw a bridge. <coughs> oh. Oh. Help! Oh my! Help! 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 He exclaimed. Ow. Well, now I can't get out. And plus, that bridge just broke. I'll never make it to Napford, grumbled James. Soon Gordon was taking the, a mail truck, when all of a sudden he saw James. Oh, hello, James. Hello, could you help me? Little did Gordon know that trouble was just beginning for him, when all of a sudden his tender went flying off. Um, there's not much that I can do for you. Um, would you like to schedule so Top of Map to get the breakdown train? Where, where, wait, what are you doing right now? Oh, I, I, I'm pulling, I'm pulling a mail truck. Why? Well, then where is your tender? And the truck? <sighs> uh oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, go, go. Seems like nobody can help me. Did somebody say help? Yes, Tommy, but I don't think you'll be able to help. Oh, thanks. Anytime, bud. Soon he had made it to Napford and made it to his favorite co r bright red coach. Ready, Dr James asked his driver. Ready as I'll ever be. Soon they puffed away, and ever since that day, James never took shortcuts ever again. Never trust.